my name is Rebecca Chandler. I am a physician. My title here is medical doctor in the research section. And in my job in the research section, I provide clinical expertise in the evaluation of safety signals. I also collaborate with the data managers in the development of new pharmacovigilance techniques. And then another part of my job is I work with our global services division in education, where we go to our member countries and I help provide education and signal detection. The education that I provide is in the basics of signal detection and signal evaluation. So I provide some lecture time, but I also work with the students of the course in doing hands-on workshops and actually looking at multiple cases of adverse event and drug reports and go through the process of how we determine whether or not this is a real safety concern for this drug. I would say that working at the UMC is, is exciting. And it's exciting because we're at the forefront. I would think we're the, you know, we're one of the most respected institutions in the world of pharmacovigilance. And to be a member of that team is incredibly satisfying. Um, the other part of the job which is incredibly enriching is getting to meet so many people from different parts of the world, both here in our office, but as well uh, when we travel, when we do our education or we go to international meetings and meeting people from all over the world. I see UMC's role in global pharmacovigilance as kind of being the connector, the communicator. I worked in the regulatory world for a, for a long time, for several years before I came here. And one of the things I lacked was the communication with other agencies, um, even across within Europe, as well as across the world. Um, and I think that UMC acts as the bridge between the national centers, between some of the large regulatory agencies like the FDA and the EMA. And I think a lot of the problems in pharmacovigilance can be solved if we communicate and we share information. And I see that as UMC's integral role in this picture.